we're just going to run through what you get when you purchase the glass house speaker kit number one um, now on display here is all the parts except for the, sh the actual cabinet the cabinet is another separate video which you you can click below to watch so everything is included that you need to construct your kit um, there is going to be another video that will just tell you what kind of tools you you'll need um, you need to provide kind of glue as well that's the other thing so here we go so let's let's run through the crossover first um, all both crossovers are mounted on the glass house um, tag board uh, you basically drill a couple of holes to fit these through and then everything is mounted on there so quick little show this is what you'll be making later this is the actual crossover so all the bits have been fitted to this and it just slots in quite easily you can see how they go in cool so crossover boards well tag boards glass house ones um, inductors two sets of inductors one for the treble one for the bass you've got caps we've got um, these are all plain electrolytics just to keep it all quite small and tight you've got your 4.7s the sixes um, we're using audio gold five watt wound resistors there's two there so you can see there's not a massive component count it, the crossover is very very simple um, obviously importantly you've got the drive units the vifa here which is a tc14 wg67 there's another one there this is how you receive it all boxed up um, the tweeter here is a vifa bc25 sc15-04 these guys work so well together um, really good synergy then you've got for internal lining we've got the jatson polyester wadding um, for wiring this is obviously internal you've got the dca16 this is used for the base this is a dual version this is duland and then you've got the 20 which shoots off to the, the tweeter feeds there we've got some one mil ptf sleeving now this is used to isolate the leadouts of the actual inductors like that so when it touches something else it's not going to short it so solder we provide one meter or 3.8% Mundor silver gold solder and a bit of heat, heat shrink um, just so that you can identify the positive and negative. You can see it being used there and you can see it being used there so it doesn't, because these fray, the actual cotton bits fray, so we just seal them tight like that. Then you have the push on, you've got two point eight there and a 4.6 there so red and black sleeving to identify the positive and negative um, and then we have the fixings so you've got t-nuts here these are the m4s these are for the tweeter unit and then we've got um, hex bolts here for the tweeter slightly bigger m5s for the for the base unit and then m5 t-nuts there um, and then for holding all the components for your crossover in place you've got your tie wraps and I think that is it just before I sign off I want to say a big thank you for watching our videos like and subscribe and follow us on all the social network platforms see you later